Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I want to present to you uh, a feature that we have on our molding machines now that we made available in 2023. It's called Smart Operation. Smart Operation allows anyone, not just a skilled labor process technician, but anyone to be able to start up an injection molding machine. Uh, Smart Operation is in our controller. And with the 15 minutes that I have, we're going to go through and we're going to start up the injection molding machine. All right. So basically, this will allow anyone to come up to the molding machine and start it up and make good parts. So at the end of the demonstration, I'll pick someone from the audience and let them come up and start up the machine. Okay. So one of the things that hinders everyone in manufacturing right now is having skilled labor. Skilled labor to start your machines, skilled labor to process your machines, and Krausmify has came up with Smart Operation. Smart Operation is easy as making a cup of coffee. So starting your injection molding machine is it, just like getting up in the morning and making coffee. Start Operation does not process the machine for you. Your process engineer or process technician has to set everything up in the background. And once that's set up, any uh, operator, any material handler, anyone on the production floor comes over and the machine will only do what the process engineer set it up to do. So I'm running a video up on the TV now. Uh, that's a video of my colleagues in Germany. Uh, running smart operation, uh, and this is our smart operation on our molding machine. Okay. All right. With the smart operation, like I said, Anyone, or a process engineer or a member of management can come in and fill all this information out. So they, they fill out, do you want to have an auto purge program? What do you want the machine to do if it stops off? Uh, do you have a material dryer? Do you have a robot? And you go through and you just answer all of these questions. And once the questions are answered, smart assist is set up, or smart operation is set up. All right, so whomever's logged in logs out. So right now, no one has con uh, uh, control to change anything in the controller. No process settings, no uh, anything to do with the barrel, anything to do with the clamp settings. They do not have access to change that, but they do have access to start the molding machine. Okay, so who wants to start an injection molding machine? Oh, you, you, come on up. Abby. Hi there. Hi there, Abby. You ever started a molding machine before? Not this one. You want to start it? Sure. Come on. So, um, what we have now is our dashboard, and this just shows us where the machine is at. This dashboard, it tells us how many cycles the machine has made, what the current cycle time is, 482 seconds. Uh, what our barrel temperatures are, barrel zone one, oil temperature. Those are freely configurable, so I can choose any of the process settings if I want to see any of my actual values. Um, let's just look at cycle time. All right, or we can change these to however we want. <clears throat> All right, at the bottom of a dashboard, we have two boxes here. One of the boxes is our status. There's five levels of starting up this molding machine. Right now, we're on level one. So Abby, you're coming over to start up the molding machine. You see a green box. Switch on and heat up the system. You come in first thing in the morning. I want you to press that button. All right? So now she pressed that button to start the procedure, and it asks you a question. It, well, it tells you something. Turn on the cooling water. So that tells you you have to go around and turn on the cooling water. Once you do that, hit OK. 
All right, the next one, turn on the compressed air. You did that, hit OK. Switch on the material conveying system. We've got that turned on. Switch on the metering device. That would be a mixer, a color feeder, or whatever that might be. Hit OK. All right. Switch on the material dryer. If we have a material dryer, it tells us to make sure the material dryer is switched on. All right. So now we're at stage one. Okay, and what stage one is actually telling us is we're highlighted here. It asks us if you have a mold temperature controller, a TCU, anything like that, a chiller, make sure it's switched on. Hit OK. Switch on external mold heating. If you have a hot runner system, an external controller, it tells you to switch it on. Now it gives you a message. When the external mold temperature controllers are up to temperature, then activate the green operating button to confirm. So we're up to temperature, so go ahead and press the green button. All right, press it again. It didn't go, it didn't see your finger. Um, the next message, if the material is dry, then actuate the green operating button. So if your material has been in the dryer long enough and it is dry, hit the green button. All right. So as we see this, we can see our status starts to climb as we answer questions. So you want to hit it one more time. All right. Check whether the robot protective fence has been acknowledged. So that would be the robot on the back side. It's good. You don't have to do that. I got my robot guy telling me it's okay. Check to see if the robot is in the home position. We're in the home position. So we hit okay. All right. And then caution. So it tells you to open the safety gate. All right. On this particular machine, you have to unlock the gate. And then you can open the gate, okay? And it says, enter the mold chamber if components sprue and remove them. If there's parts in the mold or if there's a runner in the mold, remove it. Check the ejector pins for contamination. Clean or lubricate if needed. At the bottom it says, exit the mold chamber, or machine chamber. So we close the door and you hit OK. All right. So... There it comes. Alarm messages were found. So the machine is telling us, hey, you have an alarms. Press OK to continue. All right. So now we're up to stage three, and we're going to push the green button one more time. Wait one second. All right. You're going to press the green button again. All right. Close the safety gate or nozzle purge guard which they're closed. Once you do that, hit OK. So we have to lock the gate. And then we hit OK. So we're up to stage four. Check the robot again to make sure it's in the home position and hit OK. Now, Open the safety gate on the operator's side. Wear protective clothing when entering the mold chamber and introduce appropriate protective measures. Open the gate on the operator's side so we have to unlock. All right. And then it tells you to check again. It wants you to double check to make sure there's no parts or anything in there. All right. It asks you to check, check, double check. So now we'll close. Let me lock the door. Okay. So now, hit the button again. All right. So we're up at stage four. It's asking about the robot. We're home. So we're still at stage four. All right. So once we get ready to start, it comes up and it says start production. Hit the button again. So now, wear protective clothing. It tells you to open. We're in stage four, or stage five. We open. 
So we load the inserts. We're good. So I had this set up so that the injection unit backs off every time we go in. So it's backing off now automatically just for protection. As we see, that's what the injection unit's doing. Okay, now I'd ask you questions. Open the nozzle guard. Close it. Check. Check for purge patties. Check, check, check. Once you do that, hit OK. Continue production. So, it's easy as that, right? So my machine's set up, so the first three shots are startup parts. So we're not gonna put as much pressure in the mold. We're not gonna fill the parts completely out. So we'll throw the first three shots away. After that, it will go back to normal production. So. so. Could you start up a molding machine again with that? Cool. It all really depends, guys, how well your process is set up and established. If your process is established, Abby can come up and start your molding machines for you.